Okay, here's your complete trainer. I don't think I've actually shown it to you yet. But there's the back side. We have the Ethernet switch with all three devices coming down to it. We have our plus and minus 24. Brown wire for your plus, blue wire for your minus, and there's the analog connections and the relay is moved over here. And then this is how it's going to ship, it is like this. And then these brackets will ship separately. And finally, HMIs will remain in their packaging until they get to you. That way I don't have to worry about them getting damaged or scratched anything. We were gonna put these on here, but I'm concerned, even if I mounted like this, it would fit in the box. But if that box was to take a hit right here, I'm worried it'll damage this drive. So I'm just gonna leave them off. But they'll be really easy to install. So to do that, all you'll need is a four and a half millimeter Allen wrench. And you just wanna pull this end cap here off of it, exposing the 8020. And these already come with the T-slotted bolt on them. So you just loosen this up. So that you have a nice gap there and then this will slide on and you can determine what angle exactly you want and then tighten that down and then reinstall the end cap on the 8020 and then you asked about rigidity if you actually grab it by the handle here and grab this here it actually flexes this aluminum plate here, so there, there's no issue with rigidity there. And then, yeah, your HMI, well, you can see this a little easier now. They all come with this plug, and we have the connector and everything for the HMI on them. And it'd probably be a little easier to stick this up through here, and then plug your Ethernet cable in, and then just bring it back down into there. And then there's some mounts, some little clips here to hold it in place. And the power connector comes up here on this side, like so. And that's what it'll look like in the end.